Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a billing sub-user to your billing panel. This will let them pay and view your invoices, top up account credit, they can also modify and upgrade services, and also open billing tickets on your behalf. So, let's get right into it. So first of all, you're going to want to go to pebblehost.com. From here, we can then go to the panel login at the top, and then to the billing panel. You'll then of course have to log in, and then at the top, where it says hello, and then your name, we're going to click that and then click user management and here we can see all the users so currently we have one user which is ourselves and it'll show your email and then the owner tag next to your name however of course we're trying to make a new sub user so you want to come down where it says invite new user and then you're going to put their email in this box all right so i've now put my alt accounts email in that box and then you can click all permissions or to choose permissions if you select choose permissions it will then bring up this menu where you can choose the permissions you want to give to the account so of course, pick and choose these how you want. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to click all permissions and then we're going to click send invite. And as you can see, the invite has been sent successfully. So now the sub user that you added will get an email. And as you can see, I've now got on the email and we're then going to click accept invitation. So once you click that, it will then ask you to log in or register a new account. And then after you've done that, you simply want to click accept invite. And there we go. We're now added as a sub user. And you can see this as the side, we have Pebble Tutorials as the name, which is my main account's name. However, we're of course on our alt account here. If you don't want to give them full access to the billing panel, what you can do instead, if you want them to just receive emails, is at the top, once again by your name, we then want to click that and then click contacts. And then of course in here, you want to fill out the contacts information as well as the email preferences. We have general emails, invoice email, support emails, product emails, and domain emails. So of course, fill in the information and then select your email preferences. All right, so I'm now gonna show you how you can actually edit the permissions. So on our user management page, we'll then find our sub user, which we have right here, and then we'll click manage permissions. And as you can see, it's taken us to this page, which we have all the permissions that we need. And of course you can turn these off or on as you please. So for this video, I'm only going to turn off view and manage contacts. So I'll turn that off and then click save changes. And then as you can see, the permissions have updated successfully. And then on our alt account, we go to create a new contact. As you can see, we've been taken to an access denied page, and that proves that the permissions are in fact working. So the final thing I'm going to show you is simply how to remove a sub user. This is also pretty easy. You simply want to come up to their sub user's email and then simply just click remove access. It will then give you a prompt if you want to confirm it and we'll click confirm. And there we go, the user has been removed successfully. And now we have only one user, which is of course the owner. So now if we go back to our auto account once again, we actually get taken to our choose account. And as you can see, we're only actually given access to our own account. So we have actually been removed from my main account. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.